Hi, welcome to part two. In this part, we will look at some of the real certification questions for Google Professional Data Engineer. Do not forget to subscribe and you can also click the join button to become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja. If you take a cloud soldier membership, you will not get access to the questions. I hope by now you must have subscribed. If not, please do it. This channel is dedicated to help you with AWS, Google Cloud and Azure Cloud certifications. Let us jump into this question. See what is the problem here? You have a report. The report is producing stale data. That is, the data is not fresh. You have some new data which came in the last one hour. You cannot see that. What should you do? So option A says you disable caching by entering report settings. So this can be one potential reason because data is saved in cache and it is a old data. So you will have to clear the cache first. If that is not working, then you will have to disable the caching so that you always get fresh data. How do you get fresh data? It will fire the SQL on the database, which in this case is Google BigQuery and it gets the fresh data it will display it on the report but if caching is enabled it might go to cache and then see if that it has a data some data sets and then it can pick that instead of the fresh data from the database so this would be the answer so option b like it is telling you to disable caching but on big query so the problem is not BigQuery. So visualization, uh, they are not refreshed. So the first impact point would be the cache at the report size. So you have suppose this is your report. This is your database. So what would be your first point of impact? Caching of this service, report service. Then you would go to the clearing the cache of this database so we would answer our answer would be first one so this is wrong see says you refresh your browser tab so they are suspecting that the browser may store some old data so browser cache this usually very rarely it impacts it is mostly to do with uh, the report cache and here uh, option D is telling you to clear the browser history. So browser history clearing will not help you. It is not a website um, that is coming in. Okay, we are not accessing four or five different websites that it will help you here. That is wrong. This would be my answer. So you have a database. This data flows into Google Cloud Storage. GCS like a dump is created from the database it creates CSV file in the industry we always do this we take the dump in CSV format nowadays in the big data world we usually take it in the parquet format now you have Google BigQuery okay and you want to analyze this data this file will be analyzed by Google BigQuery but data has some rows which are formatted incorrectly or corrupted now how should we build this pipeline so this one a is saying that you use federated data source boss we just have one data source federated data source why do we use if you have sql server if you have amazon redshift if you have synapse analytics if you have db2 so many different data sources json file formats csv file formats then you use federation when there are multiple sources of data here there is only one source of data that is this database why will you do this so this is wrong option b see b is telling you that they will use a monitoring solution okay now for monitoring solution why do we use if if you think suppose cpu percentage goes high or uh, your RAM percentage utilized is very high. 
but if the data format has problem we don't use monitoring for that that is a etl problem that you have to solve it using pipeline not a monitoring solution this is wrong so c is telling that you boss you import the data this csv which is residing here right this one this one they are saying you import the entire data put it here in bigquery using cli and set max bad records to zero so max bad record what does it mean is number of errors allowed this is zero number of bad records allowed is zero zero means uh, it will not allow any error so if you see this documentation it says maximum number of bad records that big query can ignore so suppose there are 10 records first record is a bad record it ignores second record is a bad record it ignores third record is good fourth record is good so it will load eight records but when you say this bad record ignore is zero then what will happen see if the number of bad record exceeds the value that means we said zero and if we get one bad record an invalid error is written in the job result okay the default value is zero which requires all records are valid so an invalid error is written in the job result invalid error see we want to not only ignore we also want to know which are the records you see if you are in that etl world if you had 10 records in a file only 8 processed you should be worried why there was a drop of two records so this option is not addressing that and hence it is wrong so we have an option option d which will say that you have google data flow bash pipeline that is your etl you import so you import means you move from here till here that is fine but what about the error record so it is saying you push the errors into a dead letter table for analysis this is the right result okay out of 10 suppose you had 10 records eight processed two fail you will put two in this dead letter queue so that you can understand boss what happened why did it fail so this uh, would be my answer see this blue box is the weather app and the green one is the database every 15 minutes this guy the blue guy queries the green person to get temperature just like a weather app you know it will every 15 minutes people want to know the latest temperature whether it is going to rain today can i go out or not will it be too hot will it be too cold so the front end is powered by app engine which supports millions of users now how should you design this front end to respond to a database failure what if this guy fails green guy if there is a database failure a is saying immediately issue a command restart the database servers so that is not a immediate solution okay that is the last resort okay killing a person and uh, uh, reincarnation is the last resort killing a person and reincarnation is the last resort first give that person some medicine so that that person can get fixed so a is like killing the person and reincarnating them let's look at b b says use exponential back of retry see in this world of in the apps world retries in the apps world retries in the apps world retries focus on this retries 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 remember this this is a concept which is very important first your all applications should have retries exponential back offs built in because many times the apis apps are talking and there are some network glitches for just millisecond or one second in that itself it might say hey database cannot be reached or database failure or whatever so you should again retry again say hey boss did you really fail it will retry again after like 5 seconds 20 seconds 1 minute 5 minute anything so they are setting the cap to 15 minutes so this option should work now c is telling now c is telling you retry every second until you get the data to minimize staleness did that question tell 
that there is a problem with staleness of data did the question tell the question is trying this blue guy is talking to the green guy after 15 minutes boss what why are you giving a solution for every second when that is not a performance issue so c would be wrong now d is saying that you will query after every one hour see here you need data every 15 minutes you are trying to query this guy is curing this guy every 15 minutes but you are a lazy guy right so you will curate it every one hour this is wrong it will not suffice so this is my final answer if you have not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button this channel is dedicated to help you clear aws google cloud azure cloud certifications if you want access to some more questions click the join button and opt for cloud kernel or cloud ninja membership this will give you access to many more questions to help you clear certifications remember there is no shortage of free questions on this channel i will keep posting questions uh, which are available to public or subscribers so do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned see you in the next part